From the beginning, Garmin has been the leader in ADSB development, and we use that expertise to help make aviation safer, more efficient, and more affordable with innovative technologies that leverage the avionics in your panel, reduce panel modifications, and eliminate the workload of entering squawk codes twice. There was a really challenging accident record, you know, in Alaska. So uh, airplanes were running into terrain. They dealt with uh, rugged terrain issues. They dealt with weather issues up there. And believe it or not, we think of Alaska as big sky open airspace, but they also dealt with traffic. So the FAA looked at that as a great opportunity to address safety and the uh, locale or geography up there to lend itself to doing things a little more forward thinking that way. One of the challenges at Capstone was uh, we're living in a world of air traffic control using the, the radar system, and now we've got this UAT thing on there. The FAA was very concerned. Now we've got two sources of information on this aircraft. How do we ensure that we're, we're looking at the same aircraft? We need the squat code to be the same from the transponder and the UAT. The FAA has said, we are going to require that the pilot only enter the squat code in one location. So we started thinking about it and said, what can we do? One of my guys came to me one day and said, you know, I think we can design a low power interrogator that will basically act like a radar interrogation on the aircraft to cause that transponder to send out its squat code. And really there's a lot of challenges in doing that. If we send too big of a transmission, then all the airplanes around you hear that. And all I really want to hear is the transponder on the airplane next to the UAT device. So we had to work really hard to get the right level of transmission so only it could hear it, but it could reliably hear it as well so we reliably get the squawk code. Now auto squawk is, is a standard component of uh, Garmin ADS-B products.